Hello and welcome to the final video in our series from the first ever highly ambitious Cars.Coza Drivers Car Performance Hill Climb event. Up until now, you will have seen three races featuring seven of our eight performance cars. Ashley has been doing all the difficult stuff and I've just been writing numbers on a board mostly. But I have all the times from all those races in front of me and now what we're going to do is ask Ash to rank these cars from worst to best in terms of driver's cars. Right, Ash, ready for me? Yep, straight off the bat. If we're gonna go with driver's car, yes. I think, unfortunately last, despite it being quick, the Golf GTI. Oh, that is going to upset a couple of fanboys. Yes, especially in South Africa. <laughs> yeah, um, really quick, feels nice, but it, it lacks driver involvement, it lacks fizz. Yeah. It wasn't exciting enough. It's very competent, but it just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't do much for me, the Golf. Something's missing, yeah. All right, eighth place, on to seventh. The Toyota 86. Oh, another couple of fanboys. It's just a strike through the heart. Yep. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nice car. I think the hill climb is not the situation for it. It struggled the whole way up the climb in one gear. I think at one point I had to go back down to go up. It's just fishing over here for not gears. Not enough talk. Go. Just lack talk, yeah. yeah. But was the one car that gave me a little bit of oversteer through the left oh, hand. There we go. Kept you on your toes. Okay, sixth place. The Renault Clio RS. Very fast. Yeah, surprisingly quick. I mean, it's nearly, it's within sort of a second of the Golf GTI, as I'm expecting. Chassis is what does it. It's so quick through the turns, but you can't really feel what's going on through the wheel. The car just kind of does it, and you're a passenger in the driver's seat, which isn't really all that great as a driver's car, but it is quite taut and quite rigid. And those paddles, those get to you a bit? Ah, they're on the wrong, just put them on the steering wheel. <laughs> the steering wheel is where the paddles go, not on the column. You can't <laughs> just flap fresh air half the time. <laughs> All right, there we go, Renault, a tip. Okay, on to fifth. The Ford Fiesta ST200. I mean, this car is now, what, six, five, six years old? Yeah, just about to be replaced. This is the final swan song, and it's such a playful car. It's, you can really maneuver it with the steering wheel, and it gives great feedback. The tail's a little twitchy when you come off the throttle and tip it in, it's great fun. And the power's not scary, which is good. Yeah, it's a very accessible kind of performance, I yeah. think. Okay, in fourth. In fourth, the M240i. Oh, very quick, very, very quick today. Yes, nearly beat the Jag, but the only reason it drops to the Jag is because it feels a little bit more like a car than a sports car. The others you sit nice and low and they corner from the waist. The BMW still feels like a bit of a tin top, like it's a bit, the weight's a bit high up, but unbelievably quick and you can really feel what the car's doing, which is what you want. I think BMW can be very proud of that car. I mean, it's, it's within five tenths of an Aston Martin in, for, in 430 and it's a, it's a two series. Imagine we had the M2 out here. Oh man. <laughs> All right, third place. Yep, third place, it's, too close to call between these two, but I think think I'm gonna go with the Jag in third. There we go. And I know you are quite a fan of the Jag. I do like this Jag. I've done a few laps of a hill climb in it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, oh, isn't it the best sounding car here? Definitely. And I, I thought I thought the Aston would be the best sounding car here, but I do think the Jag oh, takes that title. What a great sounding car. And the V6 is the one to have, not the V8. This is the perfect blend, the F-Type. And it just looks Amazing. It's a fantastic looking car, especially all blacked out with black wheels. Okay, now before you reveal number one, I want you to just hang on a second there because we want to show you what Ashley achieved in this thing, the McLaren 570S. The McLaren 570S is one of the fastest, most brutal supercars we've ever driven, and we love it. With 419 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque from a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8, the 570S reaches 100 kilometers an hour from standstill in 3.1 seconds. And that's all thanks to its light weight. At 1450 kilograms, it comes in at almost exactly the same weight as the BMW M240i. In five, four, three, two, one, go!
That was, that was quick. Do you want to know how quick that was? Go on, put it on the board. 10969. <laughs> Five and a half seconds faster than an Ashton. Than everything else, basically. The Mac is unbelievably quick, but is it your driver's car today? I think, I think not only for that, I think the McLaren has to take it as well. Oh, it's got it. It's taken first place, but that makes me that makes me wonder why not the Aston. I think I think because the Aston is still ex it's a bit accessible for your average sort of driver. That can get in there and feel quick and go quick, but you've got to have all your wits about you once you jump into that Mac. It's so quick, so involving, and it's a hypersensitive car. It really is. A really great driver's car. It's an car. epic machine, but I find it terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. It is a bit terrifying. I think home ground, probably on the track, more than a hill climb. It was didn't really have time to warm up its tyres, which surprises <laughs> me with that time. So you think it would have gone faster? I think if we'd heated up these, uh, these special Pirellis, you could have got it much faster. Unbelievable. Ashley, thank you very much. And to you, the viewer, thank you so much for watching. The McLaren 570S is our best driver's car, but let us know what you think is the best in the comments below. Bye for now. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We'd love for you to join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.